again, I'm Michael from Performance Trail Breaking. I just wanted to take a little bit of time and talk to you about uh, the suspension products on your trailers. Uh, we at Performance Trail Breaking have uh, married up with More Right. Uh, we're the, technically the only install uh, dealership that can buy directly from More Right, so it makes it pretty good for us. We can pass it at uh, pricing down to uh, the customer when we can. So, but let me talk to you about a few things. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is the Morai Heavy Duty Shackle Kit. Uh, the major difference between the, the shackle kits that you're seeing uh, from Dexter or uh, Lipper, basically, uh, here's the two comparisons. Uh, you can see this one is a, a quarter of an inch thick here, where this one is a full half inch thick. Uh, this is also a stamped steel, where this is a forged steel. Uh, so it makes it a lot stronger. Uh, also, uh, there's two types of bolts that you will see in the system today on your trailers. Uh, one is a wet bolt. This is what you really, uh, most of us are looking for. Uh, it gives us the ability to grease that bolt, uh, put some grease in between it and the, sh and the, the, sh uh, the bushing itself. Uh, the other one is just a dry bolt. It's a plain bolt, uh, nothing real major. Uh, it, it, the shack, uh, bushings that you will see out there are plastic, bronze bushings, and still with bronze bushings, if they're not greased, you're still going to end up with problems. Uh, and down the road, you'll need to replace those shackles and uh, bushings quite a bit down the road. So your best option for a shackle kit is the Mori uh, heavy duty shackle kit that's available today. Now, what, what makes this system better than in the old system? Well, what happens is that this being a soft steel uh, stamp out of it, what happens is it eventually it starts to pound back and forth here. And what over, over, over a period of time will increase this oval where it's actually started out to be a round circle. It will turn into an oval, and eventually what happens is it will rip that end of the, sh the shackle right off of there, and uh, you can see your, uh, excuse me there, your shackle that you got here will not be together, and you can actually have your springs come apart from it. So that's the difference in the wet bolt kits uh, that you'll see today. Also, the next item I wanted to talk about is the CRE 3000. Uh, the difference between the CRE 3000 and the SRE 4000, besides the way it looks, it, is really not a whole lot of difference, uh, except for the SRE will give you one inch of additional travel width than the CRE will. Uh, the CRE 3000 will give you three additional inches of travel, where the SRE will give you four. Uh, is that right? Yeah, the CRE will give you three inches of additional travel on your suspension, where the SRE will give you four additional inches. Well, where that comes into it is basically your tires mounted to your trailer is this movement of your tire that we're talking about, three to four inches more travel uh, that's available. So uh, the SRE is rated up to a 4K spring. Uh, AK axle, where the CR, uh, the SRE is only actually rated to a, a 7K 3,500 pound spring. Even though that this looks smaller, it's actually rated a more compa and compatible with the larger axles. So if you have 7,000 pound axles, you need to uh, uh, think, and you're looking for the maximum amount of travel, the SRE 4000 would be the one that you would look for uh, if you're looking for maybe to go to the 8K axles uh, with the 4K springs, uh, at the CRE 3000 is the one that you would look for. Now, uh, one item that comes, it, which makes the SRE and the CRE different, besides the fact that the SRE will raise your trailer about an inch more than what it is, so you have to be careful with that raising that trailer. You may already be at that 13.6 height. Uh, can you go that additional inch? Uh, you may not be able to. So the SRE, if you're 
said that 13.6 once again would not be the way to go. Uh, the CRE 3000 would be the way because it will not raise your trailer at all. Now, the, the other difference between the SRE and the CRE is the SRE, uh, Morrod has partnered up with a, what they call an X Factor cross member. Now, this is a, a demo mock up of the cross member. Basically, what the cross members do is is they straddle from one set of spring hangers. So basically, you've got this part on your trailer welded to the bottom of the I beam on your trailer, and then your springs and your equalizer is connected to it. Well, there's another one just like that on the far side of your trailer. Well, Morai makes a product that will bolt onto the system and span that distance to make these more of, of a rigid, uh, firm, uh, place in, on the trailer, uh, which will not be spinning back, uh, twisting back and forth, uh, which will reduce the ability for you to, to have this break on you. So uh, we can also put this cross member on with an SR, a CRE also, uh, so that that is available. Uh, I recommend, you know, one is good, two is better, three is best. So if you can put three on a tandem axle, uh, I recommend go ahead and we're doing all three, uh, but at least put one on there. So uh, that's, once again, that's the cross member, uh, the SRE 4000 and the CRE 3000. There's one additional type of suspension product that's out there that is actually starting to be a, a big item that's available today. Uh, performance trailer braking has, has actually been doing quite a few of them. Uh, we're getting some really good so, uh, signals from, from the owners that we've done that, that it's a great product and, and, and in reality probably a little bit better than, than the Morite stuff. Uh, don't tell Morite I said that, but uh, it looks like it's actually being a better system. Now it, that's called the, the Slipper Springs and Shock System by Roadmaster. I don't have anything to show you about it, uh, but I will also add, add some links to it. Uh, so you could actually go and take a look at that product. But I just wanted to let you know that there is a, an additional option out there uh, today for s suspension upgrades. And that's uh, the Mori, or the, excuse me, the Roadmaster Slipper Springs and or shock system that's available. Thank you and have a good day.